Now I'm about to cut the tenon part of our mortise and tenon joints and for those processes I'm going to need obviously a tenon saw. I've got a tri-square and a marking knife for getting a hard cut along the edge of the shoulders of the joint so that we get a, um, a nice clean joint on the side. I also have a file for getting the joint rounded so that it will fit into our mortise. So I'll start out with getting a hard edge and again just like the pencil put your marking knife against the line slide up your tri-square and then mark the cut. Now what you're doing here is you're cutting through the fibres of the timber because you won't be able to get a real nice clean cut with the edge of the tenon saw but that's done enough to cut all the fibres that I need. So now I'm going to set it up in the vise so that I can cut out my mortise sorry cut out my tenon and I've got it set up also that I've got my face side out here, I've got my face side here so I can be checking my joint when I'm trying to do my shaping. Now I want to use the saw on the outside of my lines so that I get a nice, I can work back towards the tenon using a pistol grip on my saw so that I've got a bit more control over it and a couple of backward strokes, very light start out I'm going to walk, work down my lines until I get to the bottom, work down the lines on the opposite side until I get to the edge of my joint then I can level it out and finish my cut Same thing on the other part, I'm just on the outside of the marking line. Down to the bottom of my joints. Down the opposite side. And level it out. My other two cuts going across the job again on the waist side of my line, a little bit more lightly this time because of the smaller piece of the timber. Slow down as I get to the bottom. My other cut. Hopefully you can see that I'm just down the outside of my waistline. Now that's all my first cuts doing the shape of the tenon. I then get myself a bench hook and I'm going to cut out the other sides, the other cuts down on my shoulders just against the edge of the shoulder. One side of the joint. Down the opposite side. And then I've just got these two last little pieces. Keep it very light because the teeth of the saw do want to grab hold of it. So there you have the basis 
of the tenon, that's a fairly rough looking tenon. What I then want to do is start with a file. You want a file that has a smooth edge on it as well so that I can start by finishing off the joint down to the shoulders. without taking any of the actual tenon away. Okay, so I've got the shoulders down fairly flat and now I want to get this rounded shape. So now keeping the smooth part of the file down on my shoulder so I don't take any more of it away. I can work at start by getting it down to my lines which was the original mark out of the joint and I can see I've got the right width so now I just need to round it a little bit and I find if you start by rounding off the top of the tenon first and then checking to see whether it actually is going to fit into the mortise you can work from there because I now know that that's the right shape I can shape the rest of the tenon to match and I've got it almost down to my very end I just need to clean up edges of the shoulders so that it's going to be flushed down with the edge of the piece of timber that is my leg and I've now found that I'm probably a little bit long on my tenon And there you have the basis of your mortise and tenon joint. Still a little bit of cleaning up to do here, but I've actually got a nice um, flush surface between my two face sides. My tops are fairly even as well. I need to maybe shape it a little bit just to straighten it out. It's not too loose a fit. Get my shoulders nice and clean. And then I'll do that with the rest of my rails and the rest of my um, to match with the rest of the legs until I get my end frame done for both sides of the stool. So have a go at that and just work your way through getting that mortise and tenon as a nice neat fit matching up those letters.